Welcome to the Elite Automation YouTube channel. How's it going today, guys? I'm Malachi Grepp, CEO and engineer of Elite Automation. We have... Leah Gwen, engineer. Grepp. Engineer. Future engineer of Elite Automation, right? Yes. showing you guys how to uh, do a dashboard in a mirror AMR we have a whole series of videos so make sure you hit that subscribe button and see all the different mirror series of videos that we're gonna do um, we're gonna start off with dashboard because really it's one of the first things you should do before really like getting into doing anything with the mirror so the mirror dashboard can be set up for two things one it can be an operator HMI user interface or it can be used to uh, help on the maintenance side so same with the HMI how you have a maintenance screen you can do the same thing with a dashboard on the your AMR. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to dashboards. And after we go to dashboards, we're going to go create a dashboard right here. We're going to click into that. And then we're going to name this dashboard. We're going to call it Elite Automation. Elite Automation. Boom. We're going to save it. Save. Actually, we'll do it here. Mission. Mission button. Mission button. Uh, Let's see. We can definitely do it. Yeah. Mission button. Okay. Select the mission. And no. some of the stuff you kind of just put in place until you know exactly what you're gonna do. Um, so you have a bunch of different options to to put different tools here. And I'm gonna kind of just take you through the tool list real quick. Uh, so you have maps where you can create a map that you can see. So that's always one that we'll use a map. Uh, missions so you have mission action log mission button mission group uh, mission queue uh, pause and continue button uh, the, the two of the buttons that we always use uh, is, is a mission mission action log tells you what's going on within the mission itself a mission button which is uh, it tells you to run a certain mission so like if you want to go home that'd be like a go home button or run main cycle uh, that's what your mission buttons would be. And then your mission queue uh, will tell you if you have a bunch of missions like planned out, like I want you to go home, then I want you to do this. Uh, this would tell you the queue of those missions. So those are some that we uh, use for the most part, PLC button display, uh, IO module. So we'll use IO module quite a bit as well, uh, mainly to see the status of IOs. So that way we don't have to go to the IO screen to see what's going on. So we'll add the IOs here. And then we will add a joystick sometimes. Uh, not always though. A logout button, pause and continue button. Do we have the pause and continue button? Uh, so. All right, so pause and continue button. Basically, so you can pause a mission and then play a mission again. And it'll pick up right from where it left off. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and let you take over, Leah. Okay. okay. So on your mission button, I want you to go ahead and add a mission. So your missions are just your programs. Go scroll up to your, right there. Click it. There you go. Oh. There you go. Okay, now we gotta select this drop down, and we're gonna choose the mission we wanna choose, which our mission will be the elite. We'll just go ahead and put the eliteautomationusa.com one in here. Okay. Oop. And then we'll close. Okay. And then you can see mission button, EliteAutomationUSA.com. So we created a mission named Elite Automation USA. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, map setting right here. Uh, basically, this is going to run just your default map. It tells you right here a map widget. It runs your active map. Uh, there's really no setup on this side of things. So whatever map you're currently running, because you can switch between maps. So like if you wanted to uh, run a, an AMR in two different locations or switch between different maps uh, as you operate. Uh, you have that ability to do so. Boom, boom, boom. Click save. And there you go. And so that's what an active map looks like. This is the active map of our shop floor. So you can see what it looks like after somebody maps out a map. Here's your pause play button. Here's your elite automation mission. So you can just select that. Uh, the robot will start. And it's saying starting. So this is where it gives you feedback of like what's going on. Probably not gonna run because this pro this uh, mission 
actually doesn't have a program in it right now that'll be done in a later video so make sure you hit that subscribe button so that way you can see some of those later videos uh, you can hit the play button right here loop action started so there you go boom so now we're, we're running this mission but it's not going to do anything uh, you can actually see in the real world the the robots messed up in location right now so it thinks it's way over here but as you run it uh, you, it'll relocalize itself and if it doesn't then you're able to uh, actually rechange the position of where the AMR is at within the uh, map and you'll give it a general location of where it's at and then it'll use its sensors to try to kind of redecide where it's at the way I kind of like to explain like the, the mirror and the like the way its mapping system works is that it's kind of like a blind person right they're just it's kind of like fiddling around for certain things so it's like if you take it if you take them to like somebody to the bathroom you said hey you're in the bathroom uh and and then they're like oh okay i know i'm in the bathroom and they can start filling around and say, oh there's the sink you know something like that uh they're like oh filling around but oh that's the toilet and you know then their hands in the toilet and you know <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll also go through some more of this mapping stuff and how to relocate this in some of our other videos and how to set up a map. That's actually the next video that we're doing is how to set up a map. So uh, once again, hit that subscribe button, right? Did you hit that button? Yep. Yep. Lay this out however you see fit. Um, I'm really just trying to expose like, hey, these are the things that are capable in the, in the AMR, in the mirror. Uh, and kind of take you through the process of like how you should go about uh, setting them up or like the, at least the order in which you should set things up. This will be all preference. Uh, we actually have a standardized elite um, dashboard for the mirror system because we've deployed so many of them. But uh, that's kind of proprietary information. You have to you have to buy an AMR to get that one. All right, guys. Thank you for viewing, and we'll catch you on the next one.